Okay, take two. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelly Bell of Kelly Bell Stitches. And this is a video that I did mostly for Jay, Mortuary Stitches. She's going through a rough spot right now, and I know that she likes switches. So I thought I would like, do a little bit of show and tell of my witches. Now those are three sisters. They're stump dolls. Um, and I will bring them down and do a closer show and tell in this video. I made them a while ago. Um, and I love them. Their stumps, I believe, are painted too underneath the outfits, which is kind of cool. And they're my own design. Um, and then there, you can see there's a little purple guy there and there's another orange guy on the other side. Those are little polymer clay Halloween characters that I did. And I really love making them. And if I pan without too much detail, sh shaking and jarring, you can see I have a candy witch there that I sculpted from polymer clay. And let me pull back just a little bit. The sombrero up there is kind of funny. That was a birthday gift from my father to my husband. And my, my husband was kind of shocked and horrified by that sombrero and didn't know what he was going to do with it. And so we hung it up as high as we could, and it kind of makes a nice bright backdrop to my dolls, I think. So it came in pretty handy. Right, there's um, some other dolls that I did. That is a Volkiri that I made. And then that little stuffed donkey has a photo, and that's my husband and me at a party many, many years ago. And then you can see there's a little green doll in the back, and she's a Tilda-style cupcake doll. And the Raggedy Ann in front of her was one I got in an exchange when we did a primitive Raggedy Ann Americana swap. And then over there in the rocking chair is a is like a fairy boy. I probably won't show him. He's a polymer clay doll also. And you can see that I have cardinals interspersed on my shelf because cardinals always remind me of my mother. Uh, she loved cardinals. So we're going back through the witches. Excuse any squeaking that you hear from my tripod. And as you go back here, you'll see my crystal, the Snow Queen, which was a, pat a friend's pattern that I made. I won't show her either. She's not a witch. But Jay, just so you know, I don't make all stump dolls. This is my clown. And I know a lot of people are freaked out by clowns. But he is a cloth doll made out of... Um, I think inside out sweatshirt fleece is what I made him out of and he's holding a white dove and I call him peace and he sits on a, a little uh, like a, a box that I decor hand decorated is his stool and then further down there is the old fisherman who I did out of polymer clay and his chair dock type thing is made out of sticks and grapevines out of my yard and then the doll on the end was another doll that I received in a swap from another friend on a doll list. So without further ado, I will show you these three sisters that I have up on my shelf. And I may show you my candy witch too, but she's polymer clay. And I just thought I would share this. And then um, if I can find pictures of my seated witches, I have some other witches that are seated. They have legs and witchy shoes, and they're made in pretty colors. And I mean, they have the black witches hats and stuff. But uh, I sold those a long time ago, and uh, I'm not even sure where the pictures are. My luck, they're on a three and a half inch floppy disk, if any of you remember floppy disks. So anyway, I will get them down, dust them off a little, and I'll be back. If, oh, and if this isn't your cup of tea and you're not interested in my dolls, I am not offended. There will be no other stitchy content in this video. So please um, go and watch one of the other multi multitude of floss tube videos that are out there. I appreciate you watching. 
Thank you. Be right back. Hi, I'm back. I'm all settled. I've got my witches down. Again, I apologize for any dust. I did clean them off a little bit, but there's only so much I can do to felt. Um, I think I'm going to start with things I've kind of witchy things in clay. And I brought these two little guys down because I really love these. And these are my own design also. I made, this is called Pumpkin Clay Mixed Media Sculpt. It's one of a kind. And I made, this is a goblin. You can see he has hands and ruffles and I put beads on him. Those are beads. And then that's a face that I sculpted in polymer clay. So he was fun to make. And then I also made a real pumpkin head. Uh, and that's what he looks like. Or she, whatever, however you want to think of him, her. But that's, and it's cloth. And here is a muslin stuffed stump. And I weighed it with a, a galvanized washer. And then this is orange fabric that I kind of sewed, you can kind of see a seam there, into a bag shape. And then it's covered with black tulle. And this is black boa and some lace and some sequin. And there are some beads on his, her, whatever, cuff. And then there's his face. And that's what the back of the head looks like. A lot of fun to make. So, um, I think I'll do the polymer clay witch. I'll do candy witch next. I'll save the cloth witches for last. Now, this is my candy witch. And you can see she has a bag of lollipops. And if you look inside, there's other treats down in there too just to lure the little kids. I'll get you, my pretty. And down on, she's on a, she's attached to this wooden base and she has pumpkins for feet and Let's see, what did I say about her? Uh, I said polymer clay sculpt, cloth over wire armature, glass eyes, china painted, costumed in gray wool and black fabrics with a crazy quilted reversible cape and various polymer clay sculpted embellishments. She's one of a kind. And you can see she has her witch's hat on and she has gray mohair for hair. And that's a hand sculpted face with china paint details. And there's her staff, her candy staff with beads and a fair amount of dust. But that's hand sculpted too, a twisted wire. And she has a cape, excuse me one minute. She has a cape that attaches with a button and a loop. Let me get that off. So the inside of her cape, if you can see, is purple. And you can see that I've done some free motion embroidery to crazy quilt it. And that's the button that holds her cape on. It's a little witch on a broom. And the loop is just more of that fabric. And then the back is all crazy quilted with various Halloween fabrics. And again, this is my own pattern. And then this is what she looks like. Her mohair is kind of all over her dress, but that's what she looks like without her cape. And there's the, if I move the bag, you can see there's a pumpkin on the base. And then on this side, <laughs> Hidden, usually hidden by her cape, is a black cat with a witch's hat. And it's all hand sculpted. And there is a better view of the bottom of her 
witchy staff. And look, here's her hands. I sculpted her hands also. And then this hand. And her belt is chained with some polymer clay candies. And there's some beads. And that's the cat's tail. And the back of her dress under the chain has a detail with a little orange button. And her hat has beads between the brim and the point. And she's a lot of fun. I'm going to put her cape back on her because it's kind of a chilly day here in New York. It's gloomy. So I have my window shut and my lights on, trying to get as much light as possible for this video. I'm in my sunroom, which is on the southern side of my house. Okay, so, and that was my candy witch, waiting for Hansel and Gretel to come. Oops, sorry. That was her moving across the table. Um, I made these three witches kind of at the same time. They are made of muslin. And this is sister number one. And you can see her trim has beads dangling and she has a full length vest over her witchy skirt and the front of her vest is shorter and it's all trimmed and let's see she has a lace collar <laughs> she's trying to smack you with her broom and then her hair is mohair and that's what the back of that looks like. Kind of a witchy do. And that's her hat. She's got some Chinese braid around the brim. And that's her face. She's hand needle sculpted. Again, it's my own pattern. And she's hand painted. And the dog is going to bark. Wouldn't be my video without a barking dog. So anyway, the back. Now I'm going to show you the bottom of these dolls. I actually have the stump sitting. It's basically a ball canning jar, a metal lid that I spray paint, and then it has fabric inside. She's weighted. And let's see, let me take her to take her her witch broom out of her hands. It is removable. And I'll show you her without her broom, but I'll show you her broom first. This was a stick I found in my yard, and I painted it because it looked like a bird head. So there is the bird head, and then there's the stick. It even has a saddle curve, and then the bottom of it are feathers and acrylic leaves and beads and wire wrapping, and there is some broom tendrils. And then this is the witch without her broom. Um, her hands are sculpted and they're wired. They're wired so her fingers are articulated. She can, her fingers can open and close. So she could hold something besides her broom if necessary, like a wand. Um, both hands and she has beautiful lime green nail polish on. And her skin is hand painted a purple color because this is muslin. And let's see, she has an orange cummerbund and a houndstooth undershirt. She's got beautiful striped sleeves with more yellow lace, but the striped sleeves end in an orange ribbon. And her underskirt is yellow tulle. And if I lift up the tulle, Let's see if I can lift it up in any semblance of something that makes sense. And I'm sorry, I'm not looking in the right place, but I'm trying to make sure I'm showing you the right stuff. If you look, here is my signature, Kelly Bell. And again, she's hand-painted. And so her stump is a graveyard. 
that I painted. It's out of my imagination. And the back is black. It's the haunted tree and the ghost and the jack-o'-lantern and some bird bats flying and an orange moon. And again, it's got my signature on it. I had a lot of fun making these switches there. <sighs> they were fun. I actually, oh, I should show you too. I don't think I showed you. The inside of the short vest is also the houndstooth black cloth, but the outer skirt is, is a double layered black fabric. And I, <clears throat> table's not high enough that I can show you that her broom will just go back in her hands. So I will move her over there with her broom. And here's the oldest sister. I mean, she I made them all about the same time. But this is a spider witch. So if you're afraid of spiders, hmm, not really. Um, so she, again, same pattern hand sculpted, hand painted. Her hair is purple, mohair, with black. And that's her witchy do. And then she has a hat, a floppy brimmed hat, that is lace. And I think, I'm not sure if I painted it or if it came with colors on black lace. But I did sequins and beads. I sewed that on around the whole bottom of the hat. She has a gold braid trim. The top of her hat is a spider. And I don't know if I can make that show up, but spidey legs. Yes, spidey legs. All wired so the legs move. And her shoulder has a spider on it. You can kind of see it better from the back because the legs are holding on to her. And she has more of that beaded trim. And then this is hand painted green felt with some blanket stitching and some more sequins with beads. And she's got some leaf sequins and the blanket trim goes all around the felt. And she's got more beading and trim. She has a uh, orange painted muslin body, and that's her orange cummerbund, and she has her lace collar with some orange ribbon above it that matches her cummerbund. Her sleeves are glittery black with Halloween images on them, pumpkins and such, and witches' hats, and then her skirt is made of the same fabric, and her underskirt is Black lace with spider webs and spiders all over it. And it is, on the bottom, I just attached some black lace. And the bottom of this doll is finished also with a ball canning jar and fabric. Has black pom-poms all around the edge. And her base is hand painted also. Let's see, did I put my signature on her? I think with her, I have my signature too high. No, it's on the back. Okay, so there's how she's painted. She has a black cat, it says boo. And on the back, somewhere, oh, up there, is my signature, Kelly Bell. So, and I really, I'm happy to answer any questions. If Jay would like me to make her a witch, maybe not this style, maybe one that has knickers and sits down properly, um, I am happy to make her one and send it to Dover. And this is, this switch, this switch's hands are also wired and fully articulated and painted, and she has nail polish and if you look at this hand she has a spider 
ring on her first finger, but the spider's inside her hand. So her hands are articulated. This is her wand. Oops, wrong way. This is her wand. It's hand painted wood. Has a little bit of glitter on it. You see the sparkle. Has glitter on the top and a big black spider around it. I'll put her wand back in her hand. And then the last witch that I'm going to show you is the third in the three sisters. Put her back up there. And this is a true Halloween witch. She is yellow. <laughs> she has a yellow choker. She has pumpkins sequins down her front. She's got a, a black and white gingham uh, fabric on her front of her vest. She's got the orange beaded trim around her shoulders. She has black and white on her back. Let's see, she has a houndstooth fabric sash on the back of her vest. Her hat has that beaded trim around it. Her hair is a mohair, and on this side, <laughs> she has orange streak dew. She's quite an attractive witch. Oops, sorry. And then her face is hand painted and hand needle sculpted. She also has articulated fing uh, fingers. Actually, her whole, um, let's see. Does she have, well, she's actually got, if you look at her thumb, she actually has nails added to her fingers because her nails extend down over her fingertips. And she has beautiful orange nail polish on and a little bit of fluff. And she has gold trim at the bottom of her beautiful sleeves. And see, it's Halloween, so it's got witch's shoes, and it has jack-o'-lanterns. And the other arm is more of the same. And let me take that. She has a wand, a green wand, with just some glitter on the very end of it. And her back, this fabric is orange cats and witch's shoes and jack-o'-lanterns. And then what I did was I burned out some areas so you could see the underneath. And I did some blanket stitching around the openings. So that's all in the front. And it goes around the side a little bit. And under, she's also got the canning jar lid, but she has orange fabric on the bottom. She's got black pom-poms around the canning jar lid. She's weighted, they're all weighted. And then her stump, get her arms out of the way, maybe. Her stump is also hand painted. She's got some bats and some orange stars and a moon and some jack-o'-lanterns. And then as I turn this around, my signature is on the back. And you can see I've made these in 2008. And I think these are the last dolls I made before my husband passed away. So I remember him sitting at the table on the other side of the table um, reading a newspaper while I worked on these dolls. So they hold a very special place in my heart. So, yeah, she's that actually. And so those are my, the witches that I still have. Like I said, I do make seated witches, witches that actually have legs and knickers and, you know, sit properly. But I sold all of that variety. Um, so this is for you, Jay. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> and I will make you any kind of witch you'd like. Uh, it, not a big witch if you don't want a big witch I, I would prefer to make you a smaller witch because these would 
cost me a fortune to ship, unfortunately. I'm sad to say. All governments have become rather painful in that respect. Um, but let me know. And I hope I will send I will send a message to Jay and let, letting her know that this is posted because I don't know if she watches my videos or not. Uh, but anyway, I will be back with more stitching videos, more floss tube videos. I actually did do some work on my jeans and weenies yesterday, so that was good. And I think um, if Jay would like me to make her a witch, I will probably do a process video and uh, tape some of my process as I create that witch. And uh, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing it. I don't know if I should plot, uh, post it here to Floss Tube or if I should on Kelly Bell Stitches or if I should put it on my other channel, Kelly Bell. And uh, I don't know, I may just put it on Kelly Bell. This I will put up to Kelly Bell Stitches though, so everyone will have the opportunity to see it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. I hope that you are well and that you are doing things that you enjoy. Thank you for joining me. I thank you if you made it to the very end. And God bless, and I will see you again.